Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about this geometric series here. Uh, we want to use the series test, the geometric series test, to determine whether this geometric series is convergent or divergent. And if it's convergent, then we want to find sum. And if it diverges, then there is no sum, right? So we don't need to worry about finding a sum. And you may say that, is this really a geometric series right here? Um, it's not in the right form, so that's why it doesn't look like a, a typical geometric series. Um, so let's just recall what a geometric series looks like. So you know that for a geometric series, right? So let me just recall it right here. So for our typical geometric series, it has the form, if you're writing it in the sigma notation form, is that we have n starts from 1 to infinity, and then we have a and then r to the n minus one okay so that's one form or the other standard form that we have right looks like this if it starts from n equals zero to infinity and then we have a and then a is just some number some coefficient and then we are going to have the r that's raised to the n power okay so in both cases um a is actually our first term so sometimes you will actually see in the textbook that it says A1 right there. But then I'm just uh, saying that the series can actually start at a different end value for even if you have a series in this form or that form. So um, A is not necessarily the first turn, depending on the situation. In this case, in the two forms that I have written down, then A would be the first turn. Okay, so now that doesn't even look like any of those forms. Okay, so even though that's uh, the n is starting from zero, that looks like this one. But as you can see, that's not really a number times the common ratio raised to the n power. Okay, so now what do we do? We are going to rewrite this, manipulate this using algebra to and turn this series into one of those two forms. In this case, we will try to turn it into this form right here because we have n starting from zero. And so once we turn that series into this form, then we can determine whether that's convergent or divergent. And then we can also find the sum if it's convergent. Okay, so let's get started. So first we are going to rewrite the series, right? So that we have, um, let me see, so we have four to the n, and then we are going to break the exponent up for the numerator, and then also same thing for the bottom. So it will become four to the n times four to the negative second. Okay, so now that's the numerator, and then our denominator would be three to the n times three to the first. Okay, so just three. So far so good. Now. You can see that this factor here, the four to the n, and then this the other factor, three to the n, they both has have a an exponent of n, right? So we will group them together. And then we will group the constants together and then simplify this expression, and that will be our a. Okay, so let's do that. So we are going to be getting so if we multiply the four to the negative two, which is actually one over 16, right? With the three at the bottom, then we are actually getting, well, actually, let me show more steps right here so that it will be easier. Um, so you know that if we move that four to the negative two to the bottom, then we are going to be getting three to the n times three times. Now we move it to the bottom. So we are getting four to the second. So as you can see here, the exponent, um, it's from negative two to now it's positive two because we move it to the bottom. We're taking its reciprocal. Okay, so we get that. So next step is that we are going to find the a. Okay, so what is this a here? How do we get this a here? We are going to multiply the three and the four square together, which this is four square, so 16, 16 times three is 48, right? So we get 48 at the bottom. Now that's really important. It's not just 48, it's actually one over 48 because that 48 comes from the denominator. Okay, so gotta be careful here. 
And then now what about the four to the n and three to the n? We can actually put it together as a fraction raised to the n power, which is four over three to the n. Okay, so now you can see that that's what? That's the, the sum of the a value right here times the r raised to the n powers. That, so that's in this standard form. So now what is the a? The a is this one, right? So a is equal to 1 over 48. And then what about the r? The r is this one. The r is actually 4 over 3. And so as you can see here, um, this common ratio is positive. So it's equal to its absolute value. So that means if it's greater than one, then what happens? Then this series will diverge. And then we do not uh, find the sum, right? So in this case, we cannot find the sum. So now let's write down a conclusion. Basically, we are done with the problem, okay? So now we'll say that since, okay, since now the common ratio, absolute value r, right? is equal to 4 over 3, which is greater than 1. The geometric series. Is divergent. Well, you can say that it diverges. Then you can say that by the geometric series test, and then we cannot find the sum. And so that's it for this problem. It's actually a simple problem here. Um, most of the steps are actually algebra steps by manipulating it into the right form. Okay. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support and make me more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video.